Hello, in today's video, we have the best shooting badge method in NBA 2K23. Make sure to leave that like, it does help the channel get out there and stay with the video, and hit the subscribe button and turn the post notifications, it'll be greatly appreciated. Now, the first thing you want to look at before you get these easy, super fast, easy badges, you want to go straight to your, your settings. Now, when you change your settings, I play on pro difficulty to get my badges. It does change your VC get and your my player points modifier. I think that goes towards your badges. Probably not. It probably just goes towards your 99 overall success, but maybe just to stick it to pro. It is a, it's easy on pro anyway. I play on five minute quarters. You can do a full 12 minute quarter game, but that's more for like playmaking and stuff like that. I like just to have five minute quarters and get them over and fast, easily done. Before I show you the shooting bad method, this is what I've got from a rough estimate. This is about a 90, 95% accuracy on how much XP you get per thing you do with shooting. So we're gonna break it down into categories. So standstill threes, you get on average 220 XP per because I did the mass on my first game and on standstill mid ranges, you get on average 225 XP per one that you make. Remember, every time that you miss one, you do get less XP for every one that you miss. Then for moving three, so that's just fade away threes from anywhere on the court. That is 280 XP per one that you accurately hit. Remember again, when you miss, it goes down. For moving mid ranges, on average, you get 265 XP per. Now the cap, is around 20 to 25 times that you can hit one exact normal shot. So that's including you can only get 20 to 25 standstill threes, standstill middies, moving threes, moving middies in one game. So that's why you want to mix it up. And right now, as you guys can see, always it always is fadeaway threes. Now this is the best methods to get them. I'm going to break them down into categories on every method. I'm going to break down. I'm going to break them down and how to get standstill threes and mid ranges easily. Then I'm going to have something for moving mid ranges and moving threes. So if you enjoy this, it did help you out. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button. It does help me out tremendously. Thank you guys and enjoy the video. Now for the first shooting badge method, we are going to go for the quick isolation. So what you want to do is a call for a quick isolation. It is right on the D-pad. I am playing on Xbox, right on the D-pad. And then you press Y to call for a quick isolation. And then you call for a screen, which is holding RB off at PS5. You're holding the R1, or no, the L1 button, sorry. Hold the L1 button. It calls for a screen, do a quick momentum dribble over. You can either do a fadeaway three or you can do a standstill three. Now there's a difference between a fadeaway three and a standstill three. A fadeaway three gets you a whopping 280 XP per one that you correctly make. Remember everyone that you miss, you will not get the extra stuff. So every time you miss a shot, your XP is gonna go down small. For a normal standstill three, you get 220 XP per one that you make correctly without missing it'll probably go down it probably goes down by 5 XP every time you miss a shot so you could you want to be a averaging around 60% and above so that is the first shooting badge method let's go on to the second one now for the second shooting badge method this one again you call for a quick isolation but this time you are isoing the defender so as soon as you get the ball right here I'm calling for a screen, or you could just do it without the isolation. I step back. In order to step back, you just want to hold out. I, I just flick back on the stick. So just flick back on the pro stick, and you will be able to do a step back in their grill. And it does create a lot of space, this step back. Now, this is the, my favorite method because I've seen it works a lot of the times. Even if you're slightly contested, as you see from the red ring, they're not contesting you properly. So you make sure you want to get the guard up badge as well with this one. So for this badge method, you want to have guard up at least on bronze and you want to have corner specialists as well because you're stepping back mostly into the corner and you see every single time is giving you a lot of space. So all you have to do is do a quick step back, which is flick a back on the stick on the pro stick and it will show you how to do it. Even if it doesn't work on the pro stick, try the left stick. That should work as well or vice versa because that is my favorite one. Have a look how much space it gives you and you will be able to knock down threes at a high clip. You can even do it from the mid-range. If you want to have the mini magician badge on, which boosts the effectiveness of pull-up spin shots and fadeaways from mid-range area, you can do it off the dribble. 
but I highly, it does happen off the dribble a little bit because you are doing a difficult shot at the same time. Remember that? It's like a Ticino move on the park, but that is the second method. Remember, moving shots give you more than standstill shots. The next method is the fast break method. As soon as you get a stop on the defense, you want to run and a straight up run up to the court as far as you can, and you will have an open shot about 90% of the time. As you guys can see, I'm just running up the court, shooting it straight away, and they aren't contesting you at all because they're not the caught off guard. You're cherry picking like a mug, you know what I mean? And look again, I'm stop. I get a stop. I run it straight up the court, straight to the open side. No one near me. Wide open once again. Do a quick pump fake if you want, and that's how easy it is on the fast break to get an open shot. I like this method as well. It is a pretty nice method. You can do any type of badge with this method, but I like to do pull up mid ranges, fade away threes, fade away mid ranges. Stuff like that, remember more XP per fadeaway than a standstill. Now this is the fadeaway badge method. As you guys can see, I'm calling for a screen in the corner and just fading away in the corner because again, you have the corner specialist badge. Again, you can just do it from there with Mini Magician as well. So if you just want to get your moving shots up, want to practice them, make sure to put moving Mini Mad Magician and you want to put corner specialist on. As you guys can see, I'm doing a fadeaway and splashing it really easy, even if you just know your timing off the dribble because it gives you more XP, but you do miss a fair bit more. I'm doing another step back into the corner, but this is the that is the only method in my career that I have found. Now, if you want to play park, this is what I got for hitting two open threes and not missing. So I'm going to show you again. I did not miss one three. I'm going to show you how much XP you actually get. Even though it is a bit difficult on the park to shoot right now, you can get a lot of badge progression towards everything. In your 99 progression, you get a lot towards it. I highly recommend doing it in a park as well with your friends. If you just want to play 1v1 in the stage and waste like 500 VC, you can. It does give it pretty easily, in my opinion. It's probably easier than, than my career, to be honest. But my career is more chill. You don't need any teammates. I got 1,320 shooting for just a quick five-minute park game. You can, either, you can do that as well get VC, but I do like the micro room methods the best, but that is today's video guys, hopefully you did, it did help you out at all, I like these methods a lot, and they have helped me out tremendously with my new builds, but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, catch you guys in the next one, peace.